What's up, everyone? Um, back with some more Amori. Um, I'm hoping that I can finish um, <clears throat> Hangman's Day. I'm only missing one key. Um, and I'm hoping that with that, um, also will take me into the next chapter of the game or whatever. Um, as I beat Humphrey. Um, I went back into the real world for a bit because right now I'm able to hop between white space and real world. But in real world, I don't really have much to do. So, let's see. I'm missing C. It's between giant pinwheels. The only place I remember seeing pinwheels was right before uh, other world. So, ooh, that's a lot for me. <laughs> Uh, so... Whew. I'll start... I guess I'll start in the best forest. I'll just go through other world, maybe? I don't know. I've already done... I mean, I've done places in each respective place, but I haven't, like, gone there, gone there. Like I did for Deepwell. So I know Deepwell's fine. I'll start with that. Um, like, vast forest going into other world. And then I'll do Pyrefly 2. Um, after that. Like, from Vast Forest 2 there. Uh, let's see. I'm still, like, super interested in what everything that this game has to offer. So I actually, like, looked into it a little bit. Um, I think I read that there's three endings. Um... From what I can tell, I think I'm on path for, like, the good ending. Um, I hope so. <laughs> I don't want to be even more depressed uh, when I finish this. Um, so we have this really pretty climb again. It's so weird, like, with 2D games. Like, yes, you are... Well, I guess every game you're kind of looking at a flat visual, but, like... In 2D games especially, like, you don't have that degree of depth yet. Like, right now it feels like I'm climbing up versus just, like, watching something crawl on a, on the ground. I don't know if I'm saying that, like, putting that in the correct words. But, like, right now especially, I don't know. I think that this style of, like, 2D games as a whole, really sick. Is that Sproutmole Village? I've already been through this. Okay, I've already done a lot of this. It's so funny at the amount of enemies that like, I never really fought because of the main story. I'm just like, seeing. And like, saw last time, but like, seeing throughout, like, now. Yeah, you got other world. Sick area. But oh, man, uh, let's see. What's new with me? Um, just work. I don't really know. Uh, you're the ox. A lot of sick anime girls dresses dressed in cow patterns online, you know. I love art, especially of the um, anime aesthetic. I'm just a fucking weeb as a whole, not gonna lie. Um, oh, tomorrow night, ReZero kicks back up again. Uh, super stoked about that. Um, I didn't realize that they were cutting the season in half, but I guess it makes sense for a lot of, like, a lot of 26 episodes like, season anime does that. So, like, I was kind of salty last summer, but... Was it last summer? I think it went into, like, September. Because I definitely finished... I, I did a rewatch of season one. Um, but... Yeah. I don't really have much more to say. I did a rewatch of season one, watched season two. I also watched the OVA. Um, oh, it's Rumbles. Oh shit. 
What's up, gang? This is real prime real estate. I definitely said that wrong, right? Stand still, buddy. This is prime real estate. I said this is real prime real estate. Many were lost on the second great move, but sacrifices must be made for progress. That cardboard. But man, if this is all optional, like, it's kind of nuts. Like, I'm just trying to explore, but like, if you can go through a whole game without doing any of this, like, that is crazy to me. There's so much. Oh, that was Brother Mole. That jam sick. Did he eat all 99 tofu? Oh, no. But yeah. Man, I definitely forgot about that up until now. Kind of sick, I guess. I already went down there. Like, none of these items right now can really help me a whole, whole lot. But, I mean, I will take, um... Life Jam for sure. Friends are slowly returning. Well, at least most of them. Poor Batsy. First of your kind I've seen, brother. Cardboard. That's one fine looking pony. Most horse. What? I don't get that. Most horse. These problems are highly intelligent creatures. I don't know how I feel about having a roommate. I hope they're buying my groceries for me. Uh, having roommates sucks. Especially if they are people that you do not like after. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't even talk to those guys. I mean, at least I went through here. Saw most horse, so you know it's a pretty good trip, all things considered. <laughs> Fucking aircraft. I forgot what his name is. Uh, but yeah, I will say, one thing that working with aircraft has me doing is calling aircraft aircraft and not planes because like you know you have your different specifications of aircraft like a helicopter it's like I'm trying to think of what the like I believe helicopter it's used as a blanket statement but like well it's like the rotor craft itself like it's still an aircraft because, you know, it kind of goes through the fucking air. Um, but like, it's still an aircraft. It's like, a helicopter is just like an aircraft uh, that has a rotor, like vertical takeoff type shit. Um, but I mean, you can have just a VTOL, like, aircraft. Like, that's not considered a helicopter. Like, yeah, it has helicopter blades, but... For like all intents and purposes, it is not a helicopter. But yeah, aircraft specifications are kind of weird. Uh, jet engines loud and scary. Turbines loud, scary. Actually, jet engines aren't that scary. You hear like, that's like what I work with. Uh, and like you hear that and you think like, oh damn, like that shit's really dangerous. Especially like when you're getting your training for it. Like, you always hear a shit ton of stuff. Like, they show you videos to, like, scare you and shit. Like, oh, this is what happened to a dude who got sucked in. Um, he had second-degree burns over 90% of his body and was hospitalized for months before this interview. Um, and even during the interview, he still has, like, bandages all over his body. But, like, on God, you have to be kind of a moron to get sucked into an intake. Like, what the fuck? That was weird. Like, shit's kinda hard to do. If I must be completely honest. I have not gotten that close to an intake because I do not want to get sucked in. But, as long as you consider that aspect, 
Yeah, it's pretty fucking hard to get sucked into an intake. I think all of our, like, special specica specifications, shit, I can't talk, um, has to be, like, like, a 25 foot radius or some shit like that. Uh, yeah, shout out American Imperial Measurement, excuse, er, the U.S. Imperial Units of Measurements. Um, yeah, I don't know how the, f like, far a fucking kilometer is. Like, I know it's like 0.6 of a mile, but I like to, like, act like I don't. Um, but yeah, 25 foot radius. And then, of course, you got, like, the actual, like, jet engine part. Like, you know, you kind of don't want to get anywhere near that shit. If you'd rather keep, I don't know, like, all the skin on your body. Because that shit just blows hot air. I'm like, yeah, that's dope and all if you want to, like, warm your fingers, but probably not dope. What's this? Ducky Jr.? Stars are pretty, huh? I can't, I can't really lose myself staring in the sky like this. Back on my planet, you can hardly see any stars. When I grow up, I want to be a ca space captain. Then I'll be able to have this view all the time. Oh shoot, how long have I been here? My mom and dad are probably super worried about me. I better head home quick. A cool duffel bag. That is cool. Who the fuck are you? That is a cool duffel bag. A cup of cool soda. Yo, some cool energy. Yo! Look at my man go! He's going so hard. Hold on. Look at him. Yo, yo, yo! Hell yeah, Jockey Jams. Or maybe it was Jockey Jams. I don't remember. I pooped after that rigorous hike. I just know I won't be able to feel my legs tomorrow. During our hike just now, I noticed a face indented into a cliff. I wonder what that's all about. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about either. Uh, kind of creepy. Like, yeah, there's one. One such face in a cliff. Kind of fucking creepy. Ain't gonna lie. But man. I'm so looking for this fucking sea. in the news. Just enjoying the scenery and everything. Uh, if you ever work around machinery, don't be stupid. If you would like to keep all of your body parts, skin, I don't know, just you know, general stuff. You know, if you like living, then, and you want to keep living, you know.
I can try Vast Forest again. That's an area I'm not sure if I looked at too thoroughly. Might be smart. Hmm. Cause I like, oh, oh shit, there is a blue wheel. Uh, hmm. Oh. Can I go up here? Fuck you, buddy. There's another pinwheel. Just a tire swing. Holy shit. What the fuck? Holy shit. God, that really- holy shit. That scared the shit out of me. Especially with like the center screen being taken. Ugh. Ugh. So there's just a shit ton of pinwheels. I see these little footstep thingies. Ah! No money. Huh. I've definitely never been here before. Actually, maybe I was here at like the beginning, but I was afraid of heights, so I was like, oh, oh well. Whoa! Stop moving. Well, let's get that shit moving. Hell yeah. You got spaghetti. Oh, yo. I'm kind of afraid to pick it up, though. Like, will shit really hit the fan in a sec here? Oh, yo, who are you? Whoa, that's bad. Voice here, I got this kite and deep concentration. Do you want to discern? I'm just a boy with this kite. We may not look like much, but we have an unbeatable bond. It's not something just anyone would understand. We'll show you how strong we are when we work together. Oh shit. Kids kite and kite kid. Bop, bop, bop. Fuck you. Team spirit. Fuck him up. Gotta be like still a pretty early game fight. There's no way this is like considered end game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. His ass is grass and I'm a mullet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stabbed a fucking kid in the heart. I'm not gonna lie, ever since I saw that key, I've just been thinking about it. And I, I'm like, decently anxious right now. Like, I don't think I can put it into words, like, I... Like, I want to know what happens next so bad, but like, at the other end, I feel like this is gonna be the worst key of them all. Like, when it comes to, like, what I see. Especially because this sh this will- this has gotta complete Hangman. Like, this will. So yeah, uh, a little scared. But in like a curious- in a- way of like morbid curiosity. The wind is getting weaker. But me and my kind of an unbreakable bond, how could we lose? Fuck you, kite kid. Yeah, 525 plan. Maybe me and my kite should try to fly somewhere else. You wanna fly kites with your friends? Hell yeah I do. Let's see, Mori's flying a cat. Kel is flying weird thing, Bobby's flying a bunny, and here is just flying a kite. Sick. And then I got an achievement, SQ achievement, like perfect weather condition. Oh, and mirror your friend smile one more time. Aww. Sure. I do need to heal up after that fight. Um, and then I can talk, and then we can picnic. Okay. 
God, my ears popped again. We are high up. <laughs> uh, yeah. That tends to happen with the elevation. What? Did you say something? I said... Your ears popped. Because of the elevation. Shh, keep it down. It's not just us here. Can't you see that boy with his kite? He looks like he's concentrating really hard. Oops. Sorry, kite kid. Oh, there's another little... A friend. Can we get to this for here? Oh shit, okay, yeah. Is he like one of the ghosts? Come on, why'd I have to get lost again? Oh hi, huh? Is this map? Wait, I can see a top hat seal on it. By golly, this must be the direction to the party. Those sound effects are so fucking creepy. Well, here we fucking go. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Oh god, oh fuck. Zero keys left. Oh shit. Welcome to Black Space. There it is. So what the fuck is- Oh fuck. Oh. Oh, it's just going into the next act? Oh, it's just fucking going. <gasps> That's fucking- that's Basil's house. Can I go there now? Whoa. Something's happening there. I don't know what. It's not a fun noise. Holy shit. Whoa. It's him. Did he disappear? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, what's up, ghost? It's me, ya boy. Um, wow, that was fun. Uh,. Yeah, sure, let's peek into the hole. Jesus Christ, I'm so... Uh... Um... I'm falling. Oh shit. I think the term that, uh, the cute Japanese VTubers like to use is yabai. Uh, I believe that can mean, like, anything you want it to, depending on, like, context. It's like Japanese slang. Like, it can mean, like, scary, shit, cool. Oh no, what? Stay away. You are not my son. Why? Why won't you fall? Did Mary hang herself? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Like, that's just my guess, but I don't know. There's a lot of creepy shit with that. Like, you aren't my son. He's trying to chop down a tree. He's asking why the tree won't fall. There's like a fucking noose on the tree. Did she hang herself? Man. Because I don't remember the game ever saying like what her like cause of death was. Imagine you can fail it. I'm thinking about Hangman more. You like have to be able to fail it, right? Like with every wrong key I got, man's on the right was like forming. You gotta be able to lose Hangman. All the keys are fuck. Whoa. Oh yeah, no. So this is like fucking it. Yeah, I I'm. I definitely am getting somewhere, which is super cool. But yeah, like, all the flowers are fucking dead now. These are sun- Oh no! It's like he's talking to us again. 
They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. That's so cool that it's doing this. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mary. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. But now Mary's not there. In the real world because she's dead. Roses come in many forms, colors, and have their own unique meanings. Pink, symbol pink roses symbolize adoration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all, the, all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. These are a type of flower called the gladiolus, known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. But all the fucking plants are dead. Even the cactuses. Cacti. Cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of cactus kill. <laughs> and then we go to the tulips. And these, they're white tulips. Tulips aren't very flashy plants. They're not too big or too small, not too elaborate or flamboyant. If I could put it in another way, I guess I would say that they're comfortable. Simple, modest, and perfect, just like Sunny. <gasps> he just said Sunny, no! He didn't say Amori. So this just, pr I mean, obvious. it's obvious, but like, that's gotta count for something. And I wasn't able to go past this point. I don't remember it being this, like, cloudy either. And trees are dying the closer we get there. Yeah. There are more and more dead trees. Man. Now we're getting to a point where they're all dead. And here we are at his house. Uh, Amori, I'm scared. Let's let's go back. We can't right now, right? Like we have to. Like I'm sorry, Aubrey, but this is it. What? Can we not go there? It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yes. I almost feel like I have to at this point. Options are kind of limited here. And there goes Omori. And then the stupid music where it's going to go deeper and deeper and just stop. Like it always fucking does. Yep, there you go. And I'm in water. Ooh, it's all black. So we got water. We got spiders. I hate that effect on the bottom. And then we got heights. Are we climbing stairs? <gasps> no! And then it's the white egret too? Holy shit, what the fuck? A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you in your dreams. Is this the door to black space? I 
have to open the fucking door. So, welcome to Black Space. Oh, thanks, game. I got all the keys. Is that what, like, the symbolism is? Oh. Like how you needed the keys to leave white space. So what's this, like... White space was, like, supposed to be... Depression, I thought? But it's black space? Like, is one supposed to represent anxiety? Let's see here. I got my key. Mary straight make basket. Like I say, probably need to. A tissue box for wiping your stars off. There's like eyeballs. Which are like very unsettling to me. Holy shit. Man, this is fucky. I actually talked to him for once. These rooms are full of broken things. But at least in here, I can see who you really are. The world that you created above this one, did you make it to protect this place or to hide it away? Either way, it's become more powerful than you. I'm alone now too, right? Oh, I can't even open my inventory. Like that whale? Holy shit, what is that? Jesus, this game is fucked now. Are they gonna grab me? No, they didn't. Holy shit. I hate that background too, how like it's slowly scrolling up. What if I go up, it like stops? So what's up now? Holy shit. I am not a fan of this. It's weird how like there's hands to stop you, but you can keep going if you try. Juke, get juked, get juked, nerd. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, I just start back here. Ugh, there's like a face in there. What happens if they grab me? Oh, they take me back. So, do I have to go through each of the rooms? I hate those eyeballs in the back. Dude, this one's even more f different in a fucked up way. God, I really hate this. But I mean, this is supposed to be like a look in that Sunny's psyche, huh? Lost in this confusion lies the root of everything. The truth that you've locked away. You must find it no matter what. You have to, for the both of us. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone has to, like, acknowledge their, like, own demons. Like, as kind of a shitty way I can put it, like, holy shit, this place has changed a great deal since you were last here. Will you be able to find your way back, or will you finally lose yourself? You may not be in control now, but do not lose hope, Dreamer. There are some who still believe in you. So those, I thought those were just eyes. I, I hit one on accident just to see. Well, not on accident. I hit one just to see, but then I realized it was like a thing in the game. Ugh. Holy shit. What are you? You. Ooh, are you lost? Not to worry. The red hands know the way back. I hated that, like, I get his... He scribble, but like I fucking hated when I talked to him. There was like a noise in my ears, like pen on, not, or like you know, pencil on paper, like right in my fucking ears. Ugh. You scared me a little bit. I ain't gonna lie there, buddy. Scribbles back down here. What up, my, my slime scribble? You looking for someone or something? Waiting for something to happen? Whoa. Oh. 
Nothing but static. I was gonna say that's new. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. It's everything from before, but red now. Huh. Those are new. That picture on the left is new. That's Basil and Amori looking at their pictures. And then it's the same thing, but scribbled over even harder. And then that mask thing is also looking... So... Let's keep going, baby. We on a roll now. Yeah, that's creepy. Now it's like I'm back. It's like the fucking real world. Ugh, I hate this. When you hit the truth, you sealed a part of me away with it. He's been waiting for someone to save him all this time. On that day, when you became nothing, I was split in half. Which one do you think was more painful? Did I read that right? Which one was more painful? Which of us, maybe? I don't... Ugh, how do I go back now? Is there still red hands? Okay, good. Yeah, so red hands are definitely, like... I mean, if it wasn't obvious. You have hidden yourself away again. Hopes, dreams, aspirations. Do they mean nothing to you? So I'm trying to interpret, like, everything. Like, everything I'm looking at, like, the, like he said, like, this is all stuff that I've encountered but buried away. Like, liar. Oh. Liar, liar, liar. Ooh. Liar, 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 liar. You. Something. Sunny. I love you. Liar, 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 liar. He's following me. Sunny, I love you. Well, he, Sunny, I love you. I mean, that thing popped out of Mary's, like, like her casket. Is that supposed to be Mary? Miwo has been very, very bad. You got a key. Miwo stares at you. She does not know what is happening. No, I don't want to cut open Miwo. Do I have to to leave? God damn it. Miwo stares at you. She tilts her head out of curiosity. She wants to go now. Oh, the dot. She struggles to break feet. Jesus Christ, dude. Her eyes are filled with desperation. Do you want to go? Mimo stares at you. She tried to scream, but there was no sound. Jesus. Oh. You cut open Mimo. How do I get out of here? Waiting for something? Jesus Christ, bro. How do I get out of here? I have to stab myself. God damn it. That was actually probably one of the most unsettling things I've seen in this game so far. Uh, so that's great. Or I've had to do. The shitty thing is that I actually think that might be optional. I probably, I didn't realize, I didn't think I'd be able to go into my inventory because I'm not able to right now. Um, so if you are able to, that's great storytelling on the devs' parts. 
Ooh. The noise is from here. Not fun for me. A fucking flower crown. The noise that made. Like, unsettling too. It's a melon. Oh, I can't. There's nothing in them. So you can't walk on the green. Basil, but he looks normal. Amora, you came back for me. This isn't Basil. Is that my flower crown? I'm so glad you found it. Let's get out of here. I'll follow your lead. This isn't Basil. Growing watermelons here has been fun, but I really miss my flowers back home. How are they doing? Did you take care of them while I was gone? <laughs> No, we haven't been. Watermelon char are delicious. We used to cut them up and eat them all the time at the beach. I can still see Kel with those watermelon seeds all over his face. <laughs> Summer vacation with friends was the best, wasn't it? Oh, wait. I can't keep on. I can't go that way. Oh, wait. What the hell? Oh, it's getting darker. Shit. Now we're surrounded by melons. The sound design of this game is super cool. Oh. Do I have to destroy all the melons? <gasps> Basil fucking died? Do I just have to keep on destroying him? I oh, know there's the red hand. Shit, dude. Each of these is so fucked. I'll take a look at the journals in a sec, just to see if those change at all while I'm like going through these rooms. I'm at the beach. I gotta talk to this shade first. What was your name? Stranger. Our friends who have suffered because of us. Can we still call them friends? No matter how much I want it, but things can't go back to the way they were before. But why does part of me still cling on? Is there still hope left for us, Sonny? Yeah, now they're just referring to them. Like, some. Ooh. I don't like that noise. In that like context. When it caught me off guard, it was really bad, but like now it's like, okay. Put this keys out here. It's just a fence. There's a red hand. Good. Oh, there we are, buddy. Oh no. Here, I have to save now. Well, let me leave. Oh shit. Was I supposed to? Oh fuck. A statue of a religious figure. Feels as if it's judging me. Ooh. Ah, a hard frozen steak with no tea is out. I hate that sound. Is that just for health or something? Something's about to fucking go down. No. It's her fucking funeral. 
pitter patter, pitter patter. Is that all the scribbles? There she is. That's Mary with a red light. And there he is. Sonny, the truth is here. You've been running from this for so long. But this time we can face it together. Oh. The red light's gone. Sonny, why did it end up like this? Sonny, I'm, I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me? My best friend. Yes, I want to save Basil. Jesus. It's not even a fucking question. Eee. <gasps> That's to my backyard. There's something out there. It's calling me. And it's calling you too. Let's go together. Holy shit. <gasps> no! Basil! Go! Go, 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 go! Ooh, holy shit. Oh, that's, it dragged his, the fuck is that? Finger, oh, fuck. No, don't be another finger, no. I hate this sound effect too. I just gotta go. I'm hauling ass, bro. What is that? That's half of his fucking body? No, I'm, I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me? My best friend. Please, it hurts. Tell them to let go. Well, wait, what are you doing? Tell them to stop. Please tell them to stop. Help me. <gasps> Am I gonna cut him? No. What? What, why? And I just step over his fucking corpse? What the fuck? And what's the... Uh, they're making a path for me? What did I do? I fucking ascended? Jesus Christ. What the fuck? I can't turn around, can I? Jesus. No. Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck? I just sit there. In my throne of hands. With like hands behind me. What the fuck? There's gotta be more, right? I woke up. Oh, but tell no hero's gone. At least I fucking woke up. Hero's playing the piano. That, that is Hero, right? No, you know, waltzes were always my favorite. 
That's why I chose this song for our last recital. But you always hated it, didn't you? How I'd lock myself away on the piano, all that practicing, playing the same song over and over. When you first picked up your new violin, you were so eager to play with me. But keeping up with something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. I just wanted it to be perfect. We never did get to play at that last recital. Did you want to play with me now? Holy shit. Whoa, you scared me there, Sonny. Sorry for bursting in like that. I could have sworn I heard some music. Must miss Mary a lot. It's been hard for me, too. I still think about her every day. I just don't understand why she chose to leave us the way she did. She totally killed herself. Jesus. No. But I knew her as a person who would always want all of us to be happy, even if it was without her. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs. I'll come join you in a bit. She totally did. Jesus Christ. Snore, snore, snore. So, back to my hellscape. Yeah, I totally, like, just jumped out of bed. Like, my covers are all fucked up. One day left. There we go. Shit. Mm. So that was just me resting prior. Good morning, sunny, rise and shine. I noticed the to-do list with the chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. Hope you didn't mind. Also, I made you breakfast. Come down and get it while it's so warm. Kill's already on a second plate. <laughs> you have a new message. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. Keep ignoring me. I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't think even I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kill? If not, it's alright. I understand. Just take things at your own pace. By the way, can you check on the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep? I'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. So, am I going to get the same message? Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. Tomorrow's the big day. The movers will be here first thing tomorrow morning. I gave them the key, so don't freak out if you see them. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come outside when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. I still have... See, but like her... I'm thinking back to how Mary could have died. It would make sense with like that being the reason why I never want to go outside. Like, out in the backyard. Like, every time you try to, he always shakes his head. And like, he's done it with Mary's piano room. Good morning, Sunny. Rise and shine. Top of the morning, Sonny. You better start eating before I finish it all. I already ate most of the bacon, though. Another plate of bacon coming in hot. Oh boy, all for me. Thanks a bunch, bro. <laughs> Whoop. Much, much, much. Who could that be? I'll go get the door. May I partake? Blah! It's you! Is it Aubrey? Ew, what is all this? What the heck, Kel? Oh no. Huh? What's going on over here? Dang it, Kel. Now I have eggs all over me. Well, I'm sorry, but you were the last person I'd expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? I was just about to get to that. It's just... It's Aubrey. 
She's not answering her door, or her back door, or the rocks we've been throwing out her window. She was really upset yesterday. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Kel. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you, she's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me too. That's just the kind of person she is. I don't know about that. Today's our last chance to do this before Sunny leaves. There's no way I can just let it end like this. We should at least try to talk to her. Well, me and Sunny can tag along, but you're gonna have to be the one who's doing the talking. She listens to you the most. Thanks, Kel. Hey, Kim. Thanks for asking us for help. You're a good friend. Huh? Sure, whatever. Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Okay then. See ya. So I can't put charms on them. I, I, the charms don't do anything stat wise, which I think is funny. Fist gets the job done. You love the truth. I never found Hector, did I? Now that I think about it. Yo, Sunny, thanks for letting us sleep over last night. And for spending your last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five. My man. Bam. Down low. It's been a hot sec since I have explored Happy Town. Don't look so down, Kim. Everyone has bad days. You know Aubrey always bounces back. Do I just start? Yeah. Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello, Aubrey. Is anyone home? Hello. Oh, it looks like the door was open. Let's go inside. I swear to God, if something's wrong. What, is her mom just a drunk? There's cigarettes, cans, bottles all over the fucking floor. Like the room or oh, shit. She's not in her room though, she's upstairs, isn't she? Does she love upstairs? Oh, I like how <laughs> when I went in there, I didn't go in there with everyone. It, it was just me in the bathroom. That's actually cute. Like <laughs> Hey, Aubrey. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room! We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. I've been hearing some things, but I just want to hear it from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. You know he can't swim. I, I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? 
you're the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You, you and Basil and everyone here. You are my best friends. Alright, alright. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mary. They're... They're all I have left of her. But you know it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw away the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Sunny has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Sunny... <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing? I think I was just like, that's kind of gross. <laughs> Aubrey, let's put Mary's photos back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. Hero took the photo album from me. Come on guys, we should do this together. And now maybe I can get some closure too. Oop. Hmm, man it's been a while. Where did these go again? Why don't we just ask Sunny? Yeah Sunny, you still remember right? You always had a great memory. Okay, yeah, so uh, it's a good thing that it won't like let me back out. How can I read them? How do I read? Oh shit, not windows. God damn it, other oh, fuck. relationships inside of Amori's dreams or anything to go off of, then like, I mean, everyone loved Mary, but like, I, like, she liked Hiro. Like, look at these pictures! They're the ones that are like always together. Like if there's any two people, like there's that one of the at the beach. There's that one. Like she was definitely a little bit older too. I mean, if Kel's starting his freshman year, so there's like a four year difference. I got to imagine Aubrey was around the same age. Like, they haven't really talked about school outside of, like, Kel going into the freshman year. But, like, Aubrey and Sunny have to be around the same age. Like, look at that picture! That's so cute! Holy shit. Is it not 
about that last spot. It's gotta be it. Yeah. No, no, it's over here. Yes, I do. I'll give it one last read, because this might be the last time I read through this. My first photo. It's my best friend's son who's trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play recitals with his sister Mary. So exciting. But they never even played. What the fuck? Oh. I don't know what that was. Oh. It's my 12th birthday today. 12. And she died three... No, four years ago. So they're like 16, I guess. Kind of. Uh, maybe they finished their freshman... Maybe Kel finished his freshman year? Maybe they're sophomores? Unless this happened, like, I don't know. But yeah, like, they're like 15 right now. 15. Hero's probably like 18, 19. It's my 12th birthday today. I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with a strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. This year is looking to be a great year. Another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mary bought me this photo album and everyone else bought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. Just Kel being Kel, so... Many party hats. Sunny playing a video game on the couch. Sunny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I, I, when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Mary and Hero fell asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. <laughs> I hope they don't mind the photo. Mary's dad might be kind of mad if she saw it. Ugh. See, and... Fuck, I'm just thinking more about, like, how Mary could have passed away. I'm thinking her committing suicide is, like, sadly the only way that makes sense, at least to me. And that's the only way that makes sense right now to me. Um, like, to any, any two parents, like, I can only imagine that the death of a child would be, like, absolutely horrendous. Um, but, like, it's one thing if your child dies of natural causes or, like, health issues. Like, at least to me. Like, if I were to just think of, like, a sibling or something, like, it would be so much different if, like, they died of something unpreventable. I mean, even preventable to a degree, but, like, something that they didn't actively put upon themselves. Like, you know, like a car crash or something. Like, you know, God forbid one of my siblings passes away sooner than I do. Um, like, at least there's a sense of, like, you know, oh, time came, sure, it's it sucks a buck ton, but, you know, it's like, what can you do? Versus, like, if one of them were to take their own life, like, there's just, I can only imagine the mental damage that would do, and I feel so bad for anyone that's ever had to go through it. Um, I'm lucky enough that suicide as a whole is, like, very, very far away from my family. Um, even throughout a lot of, like, my close friends and, like, what I, what I would consider, like, support groups, like, that's something that's, like, kind of removed from my immediate life, which is, which, I mean, I guess I can say I'm blessed for, um, you know, believe in God or not, I, which I, I'm just kind of using it as, like, a blanket term, I guess, I don't know, I'm not crazy religious, but I, I, I do think, like, I am fortunate enough to have been able to live this long without something like that but like going back to the game like you know i think it would make sense for father to already you know he was protective of daughter she ends up taking her own life you know he he was pissed he was like immensely mad if that i think that me picking up that c key what i saw there i think that that was like a legitimate flashback like, that was Sunny actually looking, like, he, that was a memory of what had occurred with him and his father. Um, him saying, like, you're no son of mine, and, like, why won't this tree fall down? Um, but yeah, I, I think it's 
pretty reasonable that if the relationship was already steady, like, that could have easily led to divorce or something along those lines. Just because you don't see fa the father, you only see the mother. She's the only one talking to Sunny. And, like, when they talk about it, I don't know. I think it just makes sense, like, story-wise. I don't know. That's just, like, from what I'm getting. Hero and Mary washing dishes for breakfast. We're staying over with Mary and Sunny this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Kel says there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're all going to check it out. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all knew we all know who's going to win. Please go easy, none of Hero. Oof, sorry Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little bit sour about losing to Hero in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for his mooch. Kel looks so annoying. Ah, brotherly love. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mary stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so many and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. It's already the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Mary at our secret lake spot. Mary wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. Hector's there too. It's a dog. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep. Except me, Hero, and Mary. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Hector. <laughs> so what is it? Is it the puke on Kel? I'll have to cover it up with tape later. Oh, what is that? Oh, Hector was pooping. <laughs> I caught Mary carrying Sunny on the way home from school today. He must have fallen asleep on the bus. I thought it was so cute, so I got my camera out as quick as I could to snap this once in a lifetime photo. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Mary's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's, Kel and, here's Sunny and Kel holding Mary's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mary thought so, too. Sunny and Kel gave up on making flower crowns and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Maybe just a flower is okay. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always come, seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. There's so much expression behind these also. Like, look at Aubrey. Like, I look at that and like, you know, not even reading the description, like, the artists are so talented on this game. I can't draw for shit, by the way. Um, like, art on pen or paper, like, as a whole, just something about it never clicked with me. I can sketch okay, um, thanks to, like, engineering and architecture classes. Like, I can, like, fucking inanimate objects I can do just fine. But, like, once you get into something real, like a person's face if i'm not just like uh tracing the hardest shit for me to ever do man just kel being kel again he went to hobbies but the shop owner told kel to leave his jacket outside since kel was getting all his comics wet sorry shopkeep it's been pretty busy with school lately but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today Here's Kel hanging his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. Mary bought everyone popsicles, one of every flavor. Sunny got lemon, Hero got root beer, Kel got orange, Aubrey got watermelon, and Mary got grape. Mine was banana. It tastes okay. All of our shoes in a circle. Can you guess whose shoes are whose? I'm like looking, I just want to say. Okay, so Mary, Amori, these are Basil's, I'm thinking those are heroes, those look a little bit more mature, Kel Aubrey, that's my guess. 
it's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Orange Joe. Kel cooling off, Kel cooling off with some refreshing orange Joe. I shouldn't get too close or it might get my camera wet. Kel's known to spill his drinks. We buried Sunny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need to help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company till then. Mary says she wants to get a summer tan. I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun since I get sunburned really easily. I'm not sure what Kel is doing here, but he's probably having a good time. Oh, hero sleeping on Mary. He's all tired out from swimming. Well, seems like Mary won't be able to get her summer tan after all. Oh, it's so cute. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mary and Hero. They look so happy. A match made in heaven. <laughs> that makes me so sad, dude. Hey, Sunny's turning 12 today. Even though me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Keller are in the same school year, Sunny is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Sunny holding a super huge present for Mary and Hero. Hmm, I wonder what it is. <laughs> you can't really tell from the photo, but Mary and Hero got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems much more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Mary's new kid, Niwa. Maybe that's why, like, Sunny's feelings are conflicted when it comes to Miwo, too, because he was Mary's. Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sunny Miwo's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny's there, too. He looks kind of sleepy. Mary says the beetle is a giant stag. It suddenly fell from a tree and surprised everyone. Here's too gross out to look. Do -do. Keep going. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. All of us hanging out in our brand new tree house. Looks like Sonny is finally reading the book I showed him. I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation is almost over. I hope we get to use this treehouse more next summer. But by that point in time, the treehouse was already chopped down. Well. We went to Hobbies to read the latest edition of Captain Space Boy. Everyone's so into it right now. I'm sure it's all anyone is gonna talk is gonna be talking about when school starts. I'm playing cards with Kelly Hero and Aubrey. They're so easy to read; they can't hide anything on their faces. Mary baked co everyone cookies from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious, like always. Looks like I have a winning hand, <laughs> but no, he knows that yet. That's blackjack for you, baby. And no, that that's well, like they're playing blackjack. He's not. He doesn't have blackjack. Actually, no, he does. I'm just. <laughs> I thought that was a queen. No, he does have blackjack. Good for him. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. <sighs> Goodbye, Summer. Till next year. Aww. Sunny giving Mary a big hug. Mary doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare her college. Me and Sunny have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. God, that's so cute. Screenshot. Okay, good. We need to take one. Mary practicing her part for a big recital next month. We're all going to watch. It's going to be Mary and Sunny's first performance together, but I know they'll do just fine. We will all be showing our support from the audience. Mary getting a little camera shy because she's you. She's made a small mistake. Don't worry, Mary. Just keep going. No one will even notice. After some begging, Sunny came to join Mary for recital practice. They're still working out some stuff, but they've already sound, but they already sound amazing. I know they're going to be great. Go Mary, go Sunny, you can do it. And that was it, because they never got to play together. Fuck, man. Yeah. There. Now everything is back where it should be. It looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? <sighs> we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, I guess we really did. 
I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. All right, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. <laughs> Who wants a hug? Come on, Hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. All we need now is all we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Kel, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now, let's get you out of this house. Okay. Sick! Now we got the whole party together! Bun Bun! Tails being used to cover up a hole in all. Hey. Aww. It's her and Kim. Aubrey's bed. About to get used for rainy day, yeah. I was trying to listen to the music there because it was a little weird, but I can get a good, like, feel for it. Yo, Aubrey, are you okay? Hey, Kim. I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys, guys, Aubrey's here! Yo, Aubrey, are you feeling any better? We even saved a taffy for you. What happened in there? Your face is all red. Do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. Eh, it's no biggie. We're just glad you're all right. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's hang, let's go hang out at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was practicing all night. <laughs> that sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. Well, I'll hang out tomorrow. I promise. Aw, okay. We'll see you later then. Aubrey, don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. Always more dangerous than a steak knife. Hey, that's what I had earlier. But now I just got these hands. Then we all prettier than the wind. Sick. Polly, how's Basil doing? We were wondering if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello everyone. I'm afraid Basil's at home right now. He's in the hospital. What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil's, Basil is in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Sorry. Would you mind if we checked back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please, come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care about so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah. Sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Okay, see you. Well, I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later when it cools down, we can all go see the... Fuck, I like really... My English. Woof! Horrible. We can all go see the treehouse. I say that as if I speak another language. <laughs> all I fucking know is English. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey is with us now too. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. 
We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Sunny? What do you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah. You should decide how you how you want to spend your last day in faraway town. Either way, Sunny. To Kellen Heroes we go. Actually, let's try my treehouse first. Miwo! choose one place. That's not with bogus. Oh no, okay. Stuffed animal probably belongs to Hector. Because <laughs> it's fucking ripped. We can talk to Kel's parents though. But they're not here. Share room? Oh, yeah. I didn't notice two beds at first, but I see now. <laughs> What's wrong, Hero? Oh, I know. There must be a spider in the room. Don't worry, Hero. I got you. Now, where's that pesky little. Aha, I got you now. Yoink! right now, hero. You can take it easy. Spider's gone. Yeah, he does hate bugs. I mean, him hating spiders, we saw that, like, going to Pyrefly Forest. Show it to me. Huh? Did you say something, hero? Show me the spider. Oh, that's right. Here, look. See? It's really dead. I'm going to flush it down the toilet now, okay? I don't know why that's things with bugs, but like, it just seems so natural to do. Like, I was never taught you have to flush bugs down the toilet. I just remember catching a bug and then being like, ye yeet, flush that bitch. And I'm back. The bug spider's gone. It's like magic. <laughs> Thank goodness. Hero. I feel like your fear of spiders has gotten worse. You should really try to work on that. What if a spider shows up when I'm not here? Y you really think that could happen? Man, Hero, this is one of those rare times where I feel like the big brother. Come on, Clock. For responsible people, it's set to be five minutes early. <laughs> State debate competition. Most improved. Aww. Annual hot dog eating contest first place. State Junior Cooking Competition, first place. State Spelling Bee, first place. State Mathematical Olympiad, first place. Hero's Work Desk, very tidy, not an eraser shaving in sight. And then that's supposed to contrast with <laughs> Kel. Kel's only award. Annual Hot Dog Eating Contest participant. <laughs> a bookcase full of action figure and toys. There are a few new additions since you were last here. <laughs> We're all playing video games together. <laughs> it's cute. Kel's work desk. Doesn't look like it gets any work done here. <laughs> Kel's wardrobe. Hey, there's $20 in here. <laughs> I'll just take that. A basketball. happy to see everyone walking around like all four of us looks like the bus is late today oh that's Hector oh that's our family or Kel's family 
Well, hello, boys. Good to see you're finally spending some quality time with me. Please stay for a while. We're having the best weather today. Blue picnic basket. Nothing like Mary's. Aw, oh, doggone it. Kelly, your old man is such a fool. We're at a beautiful picnic, but I forgot the most important ingredient. Meat. Can you spare some time and buy me some of that good old cheap stuff at the other mart? Here's some cash. Just talk to the meat man in the back. He'll hook you right up. Ah, 20 bucks. Bark, 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 bark. Good boy. Bark, bark, bark. <gasps> he did a flip! <laughs> oh, it's good to see you, lads. I have some wonderful news. By a stroke of fantastical luck, it seems that I have struck gold and won the lottery. Hmm? Aren't you wondering why I'm still here if I'm rich? I'm enjoying the sunshine, of course. I can figure out everything else tomorrow. Don't you pick me basket? Would you like to save? No, thank you. Oh, this is the apple dude. God damn it. Don't drink that stuff. Oh, he just throws it away? What a Chad. What a Chad. Kim has a lot of talk, but she's got a big heart. And me, I got some big muscles. Hey, well, looky here. It's Aubrey and the nerds. Hey, Kim, how's it hanging? Oh, you know, pretty good, pretty good. My dad said he's gonna take us to a sick party tonight. It should be cool. Oh yeah, we're gonna party. Must be kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. Might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is stopping to solve the roses. Teddy bear. He's sunny. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Though I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we'll ever really get over Mary's death, but... It's okay to take it slow, to allow yourself to feel every emotion, and to have patience. Anyways, I just want you to know that I still care about you and so- oh, I've been thinking about that this since I saw you, but I think you're looking a little pale. I'm kind of thin too. After you move, promise me you'll go outside more often, okay? Aww. That makes me so sad. Oh, the recyclists are no longer here. I love those dudes. Such as this man is indescribable. Hey, bub, could you spare me a few nickels? Really appreciate it. Give my boy five bones. Thank you kindly. That talk with Aubrey made me sad though. When Bibi told me about her crush, I had to see him for myself. So far he's a no-show, but Bibi told me that we're looking for someone with an obviously fake blonde wig. <sighs> Bibi has a pretty bad taste in guys. He's gonna look after her when I go back to college. I told my big sister about my crush. She wanted me to show him to her. So we're standing around when he, where he usually hangs out with his friends. <sighs> I mean, I like, I guess that conversation just like kind of continues to like make me understand why I like this game. Like, emotions are complicated and time can really fuck things up. Like, like I have a pretty close group of like, sm like friends, but like, there are some people that I haven't talked to in years that like sometimes I'll get like a snapchat or something from just being like hey what's up but like it's weird because in the back of my mind it's like 
I don't know, you stop talking to someone and you never really think that like that's the last time you stop talking. But like when you try to talk again, it's like you kind of think, oh, like, damn, this time actually could be the last time. It it's weird. I don't know. It's weird to think about. I have one job and it's to sell meat. Thank you, meat man. Sure thing. Bada bing. Banana. It's just a bit under, right? I love bananas so much. I can stare at them all day. Bananas are pretty sick, though. I don't know if I could stare at them all day, but they're pretty sick. A uh, great source of potassium. Hold on a sec. I want to buy a drink. Hmm. No, no, not this one. What? You're buying soda, but you're passing on good old Orange Joe? How could you? Ew. You still drink Orange Joe? It's so grossly sweet. Like it was made for babies. Oh, yeah. If it was made for babies, why would it contain 150 milligrams of caffeine per can? Tsk, tsk, do your research, Aubrey. Hm. Whatever. Everyone knows that Orange Joe tastes putrid. You're probably the only person in the world who buys this crap. Well, now you're getting personal. How dare you insult my dear friend Orange Joe? When was the last time you even tried it? Her, I'll show you. Kel, what are you doing? Hey. This can's design is from like five years ago, and it's expired. I told you, no one buys this stuff. Worry not, my dear friend Orange Joe. No matter what, I'll still drink you. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. You're gross. <laughs> and you owe me a dollar. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you later. Stupid baby. You gave me to Kel's dad. Thanks, champ. This is just what I was looking for. I didn't get that line. You should all drop by later in the evening. I definitely want to try some of this deliciousness. But for now, go on and enjoy yourselves. The weather's great today. Can't really think of anything else to do. Like, I... As much as I love this game, I just want to kind of continue the story. I'll save and then go treehouse. But damn, like 18 and a half hours. Looks like the sun is about to set. Do I need to cast down some? Yes, I do. Guess you really are moving away, huh, Sonny? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden, but for you. Moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years, and painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here. So that we can face this together. It's okay, hero. I'll go first. She definitely did. That's why we didn't want to go outside, too. Like, hero's face, he does not want to go out there. Hey, Sonny. When you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey! Sonny! Are you guys coming? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. I didn't control that at all, either. That was just like, game made me type shit. Toys long forgotten, discolored by the weather. Yeah. That was the tree. Jesus. This is where Mary... 
Yeah, it is. Feels like forever ago. But I can still remember that day perfectly. That... That day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mary and Sonny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening, even after all this time, I, I still don't understand why she would do it. I, I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's, let's keep going. Yeah, so she did. This place has seen better days. But it looks like everything is right where we left it. All our old stuff is still here. Hey look, here's our playing cards. I was the best at card games, wasn't I guys? Mr. Plante. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. Duh! I think I just stepped on a jack. Oh man, such good times. Hmm. Why do we have a toaster in here? It's that picture that was missing, isn't it? Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look. Sonny found a photo of us. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Sonny. We should add it in. So was this photo taken out way back? Or... Did, like, did Basil put this in there? Like, it, was this recent? There. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, Hero. The photo album is already out, so we made as well. Right, Sunny? Let's start from the beginning. So what's that picture? Ta-da! All summer we've been working on a treehouse in Sunny's backyard, and today it's finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put out the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Mary. I miss her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on. Why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mary would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. <sighs> if only Basil could come here too. Huh? Hey Aubrey, what's up? Whoa.
You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now, I realize that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mary died, everything changed so fast. Sunny and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports. And here always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me and abandoned Mary too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Sunny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all of the photographs with marker. I couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mary's face. All of our memories together, it felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry, I thought it was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him Creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who was angry at him. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Why did I worry about Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse, so I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry for you too, and I'm sorry to you too, Sonny. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel, but I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... Uh, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? That's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be there for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Aw, oh, yeah, count me in. Wait just one second. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> Start still pushing, Sunny. Oh. We should go see if Basil's back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now he's probably the one that needs us the most. Is that just me seeing things? That's gotta be. Um, before I continue, I just want to stop real quick. I think what I'm... 
I'm kind of glad that this game left Mary's death like we don't know why she did it like I don't know that's for some people like I think it's a shitty part of like I, I guess the way I put it is that I feel like to a certain extent it might be more realistic you know like it's not like how a lot of media portrays it with like you know your cheesy note or like a text or even like 13 reasons why it's like almost glorification of it with the whole like tapes like you know it's sometimes the only closure you can get is gonna be from you know others and within you're not gonna find that from the person who did it because that time's already kind of passed Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no, is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. No, I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course, we'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. I'm ready now because I feel like he's in trouble. Yes, I need to save. Basil's been all by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil is trying to care about himself. Hi Basil, it's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? <sighs> Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything about these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey Basil, this is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want, we just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you were all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome! I, I call the couch! Ah, uh, this is all happening so fast. Okay then, since Kit wants a couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. Go grab him now. <laughs> hmm. Why do you get the couch? Well, duh. It's because I called it first. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. There we go. Hey Sonny, I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ugh, that's so cheesy, Hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. 
Nero's always been such a big softie, just like you, Aubrey. W what did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softie now. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like I know when Mary's still here with us too. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Oh man. I'm getting sleepy. That was a real yawn, by the way. <laughs> he didn't even go to sleep on the couch. What the? Is he asleep already? Snore, 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 snore. Yep, that's California. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sonny. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time. But I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's a big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you've got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sonny, after you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all hang out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park, or the beach, or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. <laughs> that sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come, too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sonny. See you all in the morning. What about Sonny's dumbass? Seeing everyone asleep and all happy was cute, but... Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. No, Basil. Will you forgive me? My best friend. That's me. Is he talking to me or Mary? My eyes are getting worse. Please. I woke up in white space. Am I not alone in white space? Oh, it's sunny in white space. It's not Omori. I can't open inventory to check, but... <gasps> it's Omori. Nothing but static. Tissue box. Simple paint from the ceiling. Whoa. Here, hold up. Now there's nothing. Smash that bitch. Yeah, yeet. That was like scary but cool to see Amori like turn around real quick too. Like he wasn't really there until that like then it hit him like shit whoa is that Mary that's supposed to be Mary isn't it something calm 
down. Yeesh. Can I attack it? Something drags down into the shadow. Attack did nothing. Something taunts Sunny as he falls. Something drags Sunny into the shadows. Sunny takes 25 damage. Option to like prolong this fight, or am I supposed to lose it? Something drags Sunny into the shadows. I did 30 damage and then I changed to the spider. Something entangles Sunny in secret web. Sunny's people. One focus. I mean, I got rid of my afraid though. Oh, I can't focus. Okay, sick. Sunny focuses. Something drives Sunny into the shadows. I wish I had more to say, but like, I, you know, up to now, like, I don't think there's much for me to say, like, now it's almost just like sunny, I mean, this fight, so like, I went to sleep, I got Basil's side of things, I guess those little video things, those are like, Basil, what's this? Is this Mary? Something sways in the wind. That is Mary. Jesus Christ. I hope it stays like that, because if that becomes more clear, like, I'm not weak to anything like that, but I, I will be, like, genuinely upset. Like, art or not, like, oh, I feel like your life is a danger. Okay, I am glad it leaves it like that. Your lungs tighten up. Actually, you know what? I kind of take back what I said. I think for the sake of storytelling in this specific case, your heart beats out of your chest. I think it's understandable. Just for like, this isn't because of shock value. That's not the point of this fight. You hear your breathing begin to steady. Like, the point of this fight is for, like, Sunny to kind of... Okay. I think I was a little quick to jump the gun there. Your, you hear your heart begin to steady. So, I can't even attack this something. Has something always been Mary? You gather all your courage and learn to overcome gather all your courage so that was it
light bulb. Now am I a Mori? This is supposed to like be. I think that was like the tree. Basil. Yeah. Let's say Basil's meadow. Sunny, you're finally here. I always dreamed that you would come back for me. But maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. That basil's for a while. There's still hope for us because you're here. I believed in you and you came back for me. So please, believe in me too. Holy shit. Oh no. That's Basil. Is that the day we found her? That's what this is. Shit. This is like... Is this like our collective memories of the day we found her? Like in the tree? It's gotta be. And they disappear. Your regular radio from the TV feels strangely drawn to it. That's what that picture was in the lighthouse. It was our whole family. No. Is that all Mary? This person is breathing steadily. You see four kids climbing a ladder to space. You see five kids having a picnic. You see four kids riding an elevator. You see four kids talking to a whale. Whoa, I see some beds are empty now. You see three kids and one toast. You see four kids talking to a giant statue. You see four kids playing in the forest. You see four kids riding a mine cart. Are more beds going empty? Just when I thought this game was going to start to get sweet again. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Th those are disappearing in like real time. That's Amori. Or that's Sunny. Shit, man. steadily that's until they aren't anymore what about this one this person is not breathing no holy shit what it took me back here back to my endless staircase
there's something at the bottom. She used to sleep in the same room as me. Sunny, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Mary's calendar. Today is the day of the recital. Something is preventing you from getting any closer. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. That was a hand without a finger on it. Am I losing fingers? Why is Sunny? What's wrong? The violin. of instruments. I see a harp, I see trumpets, a keyboard, I see strings. Shit. Shit, man. Holy fuck. What are those? Just stage light on me? What the fuck? I'm like trying to comprehend what I'm seeing here and like nothing clear is really clicking. They won't let me go that way. I do want to screw in the light bulb. Holy shit. No. Get out of the chair. God damn it. I do want to pick up this photo. Oh, I can't look at the photo album. So what really happened? She hung herself, didn't she? Cause like, now that these photos are here, like... Does this change something? Like, is that story not what really happened? Did Sunny, like... There's no way Sunny killed her, right? At least I think there's no way that's what happened. Like, that seems too brutal for him to do. Like, they were friends. Like, yeah, they were siblings, but like, they were friends. No. She did it with a jump rope? Jesus. Oh, too far. 
No, that's through her perspective. Jesus. What happened? Did they fight? Is that what it is? They fought, I pushed her downstairs. No. Yeah. There was a toy box next to her. Why would she like that's something I see. Is it is the why in the toy box? There's no turning back now. It, man. No. Oh. What? So we fought. I pushed her. Put her back in her bed. Is that basil? So the morning, no. <gasps> no, you're fucking me. I killed her and I made it look like it. That's so fucked up. Jesus Christ. I did. You know, Sonny did kill her. What the fuck? That makes me so mad. Jesus Christ. I am like so uncomfortable now, dude. Holy shit. And I'm just a kid. Holy fuck. Basil. Like, no wonder Basil's been so fucked up, dude. Jesus. <clears throat> ah, Sonny. It's just you. I'm glad you came. It's so good to see you. It came to you that day. The day Mary died. When Mary, when Mary fell, you, you couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, Sonny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's so mean. Uh, there's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sonny? There's no way out of this, is there? Jesus. Am I just gonna leave on him? Holy shit. Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. No. You wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sonny. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Ah, 
There it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from Sunny. I'll protect you no matter what, Sunny. You can count on me. When something killed Mary, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I don't want people to think it was you, Sunny. Sunny. Sunny wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Sunny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Sunny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. I need to calm down first. You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. You want to run. But I can't. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. Basil reached his heart. You want to run. Sunny. There's no way out of this, is there? tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. You want to run. Tell me, Sonny. Am I selfish for doing this? Sonny. Do you hate me? Please, stop it. Do you want to run? Stop struggling, Sonny. I'm, I'm so tired. And then I saw if you looked at the my energy bar that like looks like it was reading my like heartbeat. It said everything's going to be okay once reach time. Sunny, now you're stressed out. You can see it right now. Yeah, everything's going to be okay. Man. you stop I'm missing an eye now that is so like brilliantly done well my right eye was poked out and I couldn't see out the right side holy shit is that the door opening How did I not wake up all my friends? Oh no. That was a police siren. Holy shit. What 
I supposed to do? Go home? Hands, I don't have a charm. No. Am I supposed to finally use the toy box key? Milo. Now Mew is waiting for me. No. Knock, knock. Kill hero at home right now. Basil. Sunny, I found your way back. You found your way back home. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts. Even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay, that we have no choice but to carry on, but that's up to you. Aubrey, Kill, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but the photos in our album, they're not just photos, they're real memories. Our memories, it's proof of our friendship. Hold those foot pictures close, and remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry, it looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Make some new memories together, okay? And we never did, huh? In reality, that was one of the last memories we ever made. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. What is it? There's still a fireplace. We always had a large backyard, so it's nice to finally make use of it now that there's a tree house. The tree house is further back, but I can still see my favorite tree. What? I am so fucking, like, this is definitely in the past now. Mary's still alive. Wait, what? It used to be Mary's, but she switched with me when she noticed I had trouble sleeping. That's what I'm looking for in here. There are five chairs, too. One for me and all of our friends. Sunny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sunny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do right now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be there. Good kitty. One of the two. Just gonna be running ahead. This wasn't always there. Did they close up this closet? <gasps> I 
It is a closet. Holy shit. That makes so much sense now. The broken violin. That's the one that was broken on that day. Which... Oh, fuck, man. You got a violin. Strands of long black hair are entangled with its string. Shit, dude. That sheet music. Paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. Your piano, the word of So what's going on outside now? See, it makes sense earlier too, because when I woke up on that, like, overnight, when Kel and Hero were staying asleep with me, I went through that, cl like, that closet door, and it looked like it was just, like, something grabbing me, but now there's actually a closet there. Yes, I got just what I needed. Uh-oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kelly. You have to keep a good poker face. Uh -huh. when, when did you get behind me, Mary? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. <laughs> Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? What's so funny anyway? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. Look at your hand. It's an ace and an ace. Tough luck as usual. Yeah. Cookies is the best, huh, Sonny? Aw, Hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mary's cookies? Mary's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing. You look at Kel's hand. It's a four, six, and a six. <laughs> Dude, don't look, Sonny. It's, it's too horrible. I'm going to lose, aren't I? It's two, five, and a ten. <laughs> you should stay against Kel. Can I leave? Yeah, I'm sure. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smells better knowing that Mary made it from scratch. The violin mended part of itself. So what is the violin then? Like an inner part of like an inner part of my psyche? I mean when it broke I need to look again. I don't know if it broke prior to Mary dying or before. I think it would make sense if it broke after. Then that would be like a really good way to like interpret all that. And there. The watermelon's all cut up. Come on everyone, take a slice. Okay, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Aw, oh, not now, Mary. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Munch, 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 munch. Munch, 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 munch. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Hey Sunny, did you want to see the photo of Aubrey? Aubrey <laughs> is so cute, isn't she? Blech. You gross. Stop spitting seeds on me, Kel. 
<laughs> you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this then? What? You need to stop it, Aubrey. You're gonna give me cooties. My plastic bag. It's functional. Basil's tough bag. It's a little small, but he likes it. No shoes at the beach. Walking on sandals shoes is the worst. Phil's backpack. It's way too big for him. Hero's beach bag. It matches with Mary's. <laughs> Mary's beach bag. It matches with Hero's. Aubrey's <laughs> pouch. It fits her perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna save here. Um, I'm gonna continue just a little bit. Memory lane. Jesus. Um, I'm gonna go until the next save point, and then after that, I think I'm gonna cut it off. Let's check. Let the play hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were here? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You're always so funny. Oh, wait, that was you? Oh, whoops. Am I in trouble now, hero? <laughs> Guys, come on, we're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. No, he doesn't spill the seeds on. Can I swim at all? No, I don't want to be swimming. I know I've been quiet, but like, man, this past like hour has been a lot to take in. I guess it makes more sense from a story perspective. If you look at things that like didn't always make sense. Hmm, looks like everyone fell asleep. Guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, hero. Huh, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day you're going to be a world famous chef and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait, I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, hero. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. <laughs> Hector, how could you? Aw. That's the one where Hector pooped. You can see his little turd. started to wake me up. Hey Sunny, can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mary always says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> We're still young, we should dream big, right? Mm, but yeah, I was going to have something to say about that. Play it hooked clean. We always make sure that Kel finishes his food. Happy eating watermelon, the other half is in everyone's stomach. Hey Sunny, I took a picture of everyone earlier, you wanna see? Yeah. This could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin it with his poop. I mean, kill everything. Wait, can I see it? <laughs> you can see it's a turd. Oh hey little brother. Sorry, did we wake you up? Reminds me of one when you were just a baby. Mary's cookies. There's that giant statue. <laughs> Man, I'm just thinking like, jeez. Like I said though, a lot of the game makes sense. Like, like they brought up like, there was no reason for Mary to kill herself. But at the same time, it was just an accident. Man. This game, man. Fucking insane. 
Uh, but yeah. Level one. Shit. Um, well, I said I'd stop at the next picnic basket, and so we'll stop for there. Uh, on our trips through memory lane. Uh, so if you've gotten this far, thank you for watching. Um, and I, the way the game is looking, the next episode may be the last. Um, the game is definitely reaching its end. Like, there, it's got to. Uh, so yeah. Try to finish that up, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Thank you and bye.